channel. Thank you for tuning in and another video on the original series. And boy, do I have, I'm going to get straight into this one. Such a beautiful watch for you guys. For those of you that haven't seen this, it's a Seiko Presage cocktail time. Um, and, you know, I'm disappointed in the intro video. Um, I really am because I don't think it did it justice. Um, the camera fails. Well, it's pretty decent here, but the camera fails to capture the true beauty uh, of this watch here. Now, I don't only just stick to rugged looking watches. I do like uh, my dress watches. And I have, I'd say, I think two. It is quite limited because I don't, I don't find dress watches that jump out to me often. Uh, but this is definitely one that as soon as I saw it, I was uh, just, the word is, yeah, mesmerized by it. Um, cliche, but, you know, just, I'm going to take a bit of time just to go over this dial. Because that is the, the feature. This is what this watch is all about. Now, unfortunately, I'm not uh, that skilled linguistically or in terms of vocabulary. Uh, my vocabulary isn't that vast. But this is the time where you start spitting out all the, all those metaphors and, you know, this timeless, classic, um, you know, sleek, sexy, gorgeous uh, watch and it fits every single one of those just look at the elegance of it, look at that dial and I don't know like it's a sunray dial but and you can see the dial is let me look at it off camera the dial seems flat you know, uh, but the way they've done it, look how it just catches that light you know that's proper sunray Look at that shine. Mind blowing watch, honestly. Um, and the and the way it just looks is um, super quality, super super. And it is absolutely timeless uh, and classic. At the same time, you could wear this, boof, in fifty years from now, you know, and it'll still look this good and it'll still fit in. So this is a JDM, you know, Japanese release, made in Japan. Um, they do a few different color options and they all look amazing. You know, it's just a purely subjective thing, which one you like better. And one thing, props to Seiko, they haven't stopped this line. You know, they are discontinuing and they're killing up a few um, lines like the Alpinist, where they've, well, I've got a separate issue with Alpinist, but they don't long, longer call the new ones Alpinist, they call them Alpinist inspired, and they've gone to the Prospects line, even though Alpinist was always Prospects, but, you know, it was known as Alpinist, they've killed off the SKX, um, you know, they've killed off the Saab 35s, the Saab 33s, um, and they've made some sort of amalgamation of uh, a, pro a Alpinist and a Saab, weird um, but they've continued with the passage cocktail line and they've got some really nice designs they've got some open heart designs uh, really different dials they're experimenting with this honeycomb there's a mottled sort of um, effect and the new passage lines um, they've got different complications so I love what Seiko are doing with that I hope they continue with that you know really hitting that dress uh, watch market <clears throat> So yeah, specifications, let's hit that. So this is known as the SRPB1J1 and it's 11.8 mil thick, 40 mil across and 47 and a half mil lug to lug. Comes in a 20 millimeter band 
so decent uh, measurement for you know those uh, people with petite wrists move close onto the dial you can see Seiko along the top and I believe that is brushed just to add that class and you've got these chamfered indices look how they catch the light um, awesome craftsmanship superb quality on these and the same thing with the hands and I love this little diamond they've got at the back for the second hand look how long that is and the way the glass is they call it like a box crystal um, and this when you look at it in a certain way it looks like the second hand is curved as well it's like there you've got a window around your day um, day window there's bezel here um, and I, I, I fully rate that when they do put bezels around day windows I think it adds um, to the watch definitely and moving on to the crown, uh, you've got this cupcake crown that sticks out, of course, S signed. The movement is, you know what, even the movement on this is uh, very pretty. So it's a 4R35. Nothing that we're not used to, nothing different, nothing out of the box there, but look at that. A gold rotor on there and that's very important i do have a video out there um, one of my first videos that i made regarding the fakes and this is the main way like visually um, which separates the fakes from the original uh, you've got your writing on the side made in japan seiko stainless steel five bar and there's the movement number and the model but have a look at that movement there it's an amazing watch really nice on the hand wind easy to grip and they they do have a stainless steel bracelet it is a very nice uh, I don't have it at hand it's, in, it's put away with the boxes but um, it actually is curved in and comes with all these little sections but um, these watches just change on leather straps um, you know there's a there's an opinion out there that these kind of watches you shouldn't put on stainless steel straps and uh, leather just really transforms them and gives them that timeless sort of uh, look and you can see the side profile let's let the camera catch it just look at the crystal is look at the almost almost flawless um, curve see nearly flush nearly perfect but that is good enough to be honest and you know what like I like masculine watches but I don't think this is a feminine watch at all I think it's a very classy watch so you could this is something you'd wear I don't know on a very formal event or a wedding um, you know something like that where you just need a piece that blends in um, but at the same time it looks just super classy um, but personally I don't wear watches for other people anyway um, but for myself when I'm looking at it you know you just through the day you'd keep looking at it I put it on a bit tight but it's got a really nice sit um, sits really nice on the, the leather strap I know Seiko do their own. I'm not really a fan of the Seiko leather straps. This is an aftermarket. Um, I've covered them. I've done a separate video just on uh, straps. And uh, there's a company called Makes. They're on AliExpress. They do this really nice 
um, distressed waxes of leather and that's actually in the video that's called um, the steel dive 6105 uh, wrist shots and straps there's a few on there but this is called this is from a company called full mosa um, they're on amazon and i got this from ebay um, beautiful leather and i think whichever one you put on there it looks great but i think for this it does need a sort of a modern um, style on there so something clean smooth This is one of my uh, you know, finer watches, elegant watches. Obviously, no loom on this. And that dial is addictive. Right. Yeah, there's nothing else to say on that so like always i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe hit the like button and let us know what you think in the comments below thank you very much for tuning in